Another morning coming from God, coming from Allah, our divine creator. Each and every one of us face the day with hope, and this hope becomes a reality. Mabuhay ang bansang Pilipinas at mabuhay rin ang Lupasug Empire. I join you in my prayers. I join you in asking, leading to God, Allah, that our fight will become the fight of the new generation by dethroning all these corrupt justices in the Supreme Court as powered by the government of the Philippines in the office of the President of the Philippines. As I pray for peace, unity, and prosperity, justice through Jesus of Nazareth, House of David, and Prophet Muhammad from the House of Ismail. This prayer is inspired by the divine author for all indigenous people of the world as protected by the court of heaven. An Islam got the heart of Jesus, the divine mercy. In a Christian heart, got the power of the ancestral spirit of the Islamic. Both tribes followed same mandate, save the poor. We are sent to give peace, hope, and love to all humans, Christians, Islams, and tribals. The more you hide the truth, the more I uncover the lies. This is Queen that have done the mission from the age of seven up to this time. Raja Muhammad Gamar Mamay Hassan Abdurrajak, Sharif al Sultan Gamar bin Abdul Gapar, Jamalul Kiram III, from the house of Ismail, known as Kiram, is Quran Nor Karim, now possesses the heart of Jesus as the divine mercy provider, and Queen Maria Makiling. Helen Fatima Nasaria Panulino Abdurrajak, Juicy Mulan, Bin Raja Baginda Ali, Elizabeth III, from the house of David, the peacemaker of the kingdom of God, the Father, and Redeemer of all, holy sovereign kingdom on earth, below the earth, Limoria, and heaven, for justice to be imposed by the divine human laws. The light should overpower the darkness. Satan shall be dethroned, for God Allah reigns in heaven, the earth in below the earth. Seen and unseen beings in all creation is redeemed back as he returns back to rule for the new generation. Glory be to God Allah. Almighty God, Badhala, Dios Ama, Allah, the creator of the universe, judge of the court of heaven, and the father of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and Prophet Muhammad, mediators of this court, through the forgiveness and way provided by Jesus Christ and Prophet Muhammad, we confess our sin, the sin of our ancestors, and stand here based on what Jesus Christ accomplished on the cross and his resurrection. That is from 1 John 
1 verse 9. We forgive all who have hurt us and individuals and as a nation of Lupasug, Sultanate of Sulu, in North Borneo, and Raja Sulaiman of Ofer, Sulaimania, Mainilad. This is from Matthew 6, 14, 15. And four Quranic states that Muhammad was sent to the world as mercy to mankind. Quran 21, verse 107. We acknowledge you are the supreme charge of all your creation and ask for mercy and grace for us, all people of Lupasug, Sultanate of Sulu and North Borneo, and Raja Sulaiman of Ofer, Sulaimania Mainilad, and Aboriginal peoples of the world. We bring before this court a class action suit that represents all Banwa, Bangsa Tausu, and indigenous peoples around the world versus Satan and his minions in all dimensions that are physical and non-physical. We are joined to this suit, flesh and blood, individuals that represent and encompass the crown financial system, the British royal family or British crown, cabal, deep state actors, central banks and their executives, bankers in all financial institutions, complicit judiciary and their officials, government officials of the de facto and the jury governing in entities and all those who participate wittingly and unwittingly in foisting on all Banwa, Bangsa Tausug, and indigenous peoples, fraud, theft, genocide, human cultural and environmental, human trafficking, mystery, Babylon financial enslavement systems by means of usury and the use of flesh and blood individuals, their labor, souls, ancestral lands resources, and other assets as surety against accumulated debt accrued by Satan and demonic forces, corrupt governments and financial institutions and their officials. These debts were created through fraud and are odious debts as such. We ask the court of heaven to zero out the debt against the Banwa ta Bangsa Tausug and all indigenous peoples because we did not agree to this debt, nor did we knowingly engage in its accrual. As such, we ask the court of heaven forgive and retire this death in its entirety and perpetuity and return to the Banwa Bangsa Tausug that which has been stolen and appropriated through fraud. Given that fraud is the key foundation to this class action suit, we pierce the corporate veil and strip any corporate or other immunity protection from individuals who have participated in committing fraud and associated theft and adjoin all individuals to this suit having joint and several liabilities to the judgment of this court. We repent for our sins, particularly the sins injustices, usury through death that we have imposed on others. And any actions where we have knowingly and unknowingly enslaved others through our actions. We ask the forgiveness of our sins and the sins of our blood ancestry past 
present and future that have offended you, God, but Hala, Dios Ama, Allah, in our rebellion against you, in violation of the laws of heaven, particularly those that replaced indigenous population that existed on Lupasug, Sultanate of Sulu Archipelago Islands, or prior to our arrival as Banwa Bangsa Tausu. We ask the forgiveness for the harm we have done to our own collective family of Banwa Bangsa Tausu, of the tribe against tribe wars, particularly the fight between the natives of Sulu, Magindanao, and the Rajas, Datus of Borneo. We ask for mercy for those deeds that we and our blood ancestors have wittingly and unwittingly done that have violated your laws that have caused pain and suffering to ourselves and others. We acknowledge our people's participation in shedding innocent blood prior and during the period of colonization. We acknowledge the divine law of blood for blood. We thank you that Jesus' blood can cover us. We ask your forgiveness and to negate any legal right, justification and argument for Satan to have claim against us who are bringing suit against him and his followers based on acts and contracts that are now null and void, given that they were based on fraud and lack of disclosure of the consequences of actions that were taken by ourselves and our ancestors. We also seek the spirit of Prophet Muhammad to end the radicalism of Islamic nations that's conspired with cabals and deep state. We bear witness and bring to the court of heaven the suffering that had been endured by the Banwa Bangsa Tawsu because of an unjust, inhumane Babylonian financial enslavement systems known as the crown that is committing theft through fraud and fraudulent conveyance on global scale. These systems are not equitable and only ben benefit the economic slave masters who have financially enriched themselves at the expense of the Banwa, Bangsa, Tausug, and other indigenous populations who are stewards of their ancestor lands and its resources. For you say in the Bible, when the Most High assigned lands to the nations, when he divided up the human race, he established the boundaries of the people according to the number of his heavenly court. That is from Deuteronomy 32, verse 8. We bring to the court of heaven's attention that there is no equitable exchange of energy corresponding value. Allah between the financial system and its owners, executives, and administrator, and their exchange with the souls of indigenous people of Lupasug, Sultanate of Sulu and North Borneo, Raja Sulaiman of Ofer, Sulaimania, Mainilad, from whom they have stolen and enslaved. <laughs> 